We're bringing back a popular format with today's video, which will be in the form of a quiz on a standard instrument procedure, or STAR. As instrument students, we don't fly in aircraft that are capable of the high altitudes and speeds on most arrival procedures. So even though we're responsible for STARs on the checkride, we don't get much, if any, practice with them. Here's the first question. You're inbound to Billing Logan International Airport. You're still about 100 miles away. ATC tells you to fly the Bighorn 3 arrival and that Billings is landing west. What's the last point you'll overfly on this arrival? Hardin, Deller, the Billings Vortac, or Crow? We'll put up a timer and give you a few seconds. It's Hardin. When Billings is landing west, it means the west-facing runways are in use. This is runway 28 right for us. The procedure shows in the textual description that for runway 28 right, we proceed from Crow to Harden, and then on a heading of 308 until instructed otherwise by ATC. Harden then is the final point to cross on the arrival. For the next question, you're at cruise in your Cirrus SR22T at 17,000 feet, navigating along your cleared route towards the Billings Vortac. ATC has instructed you to fly the Bighorn 3 arrival. What can you do now? Proceed direct Kuzga and descend to 15,000. Continue direct Billings and maintain 17,000. Proceed direct Kuzga and maintain 17,000. Or proceed direct Kuzga and descend at pilot's discretion to 15,000. There's two ways ATC will authorize you to fly an arrival. The first way is you'll either be cleared for the arrival, or in some cases told to fly the arrival, which allows you to follow the lateral guidance from each point. So in this case, we could fly first to Kuzga, then Bighorn, then Little, and so on. We cannot, however, leave our previously assigned altitude. To do that, we need to hear descend via the arrival. At that point, we can both follow the lateral course of the procedure and hit the altitude restrictions, such as at or above 15,000 at Kuzga and Bighorn. Unlike on an approach, clearance to fly the arrival does not include permission to leave previous altitudes to hit the published restrictions on the plate. For that, you need a descend via instruction. For the next question, let's say your SR-22T will cruise comfortably at 180 knots indicated airspeed. What must ATC tell you to allow you to do this arrival? ATC can tell you to delete the speed restrictions, ATC can tell you to descend via the arrival except maintain 180 knots or lower. Either of the above is fine, or you can't do the arrival. Either delete the speeds or except maintain 180 is fine. There are two mandatory speed restrictions on this arrival. You must fly 270 knots indicated at Bighorn, and if landing east, which we're not in this scenario, you must be at 210 at Deller. Unless ATC revises this by saying either delete the speeds or accept maintain 180 knots or lower, you'll be unable to meet these mandatory speeds. Note that the other speed restrictions at Crow, Izufe, and Harden are not problematic since their maximum speeds will be under anyways. Next question. You're told to descend via the arrival and to expect the ILS to runway 28 right. You depart Crow for Harden on track 336, but hear nothing from ATC. What do you do at Harden? Turn on track 308 and query ATC. Turn on track 308 and join the localizer course. Hold at Harden, right turns, one minute legs. Fly and intercept heading for the localizer course. You've not been clear for the ILS approach, even though you're told to expect it. The instruction on the arrival is to leave Harden on a track of 308 and await ATC instruction, which is what we'll do, and query ATC if we don't hear anything. If this becomes a true loss communication scenario, we can then decide to perform the expected approach and join the localizer course, but not before trying to get back in touch with approach. Last question. When Billings is landing west, what waypoint must you fly over and not just fly by? Bighorn, Harden, Crow, or all of the above. Just like on an approach plate, a flyover waypoint will have a circle around it. There are two on this plate. One at Harden, which is part of the west operation, and one at Deller, which we would overfly when landing east. All other waypoints on this arrival are just fly-by waypoints. 
Bees weren't easy, but how did you do? Let us all know in the comments, and don't forget to head over to the Flight Insight website linked here and in the description for more training and to check out our ground schools today.